So hello guys and welcome to this week's tutorial and this time I'm going to be showing you this really cool animation um, It's like with metaballs it works really well. I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, let's get right into it So I'm gonna start off with uh, Basically an empty blender scene. I'm gonna delete everything shift a I'm gonna add in a metaball So just go into the metaball section add a metaball And then go into your metaball settings So it's this one over here turn down the resolution and viewport to like something like point uh one six and your render to i'm gonna decrease it to point zero seven you'll render out like a single frame and see how quickly it does it and then increase uh what you need to do according to that so you don't worry about it much right now so now i'm just gonna hide this metaball for a second i'm gonna shift it add in a cube i'm gonna scale it up on the z a little bit so just like this and i'm gonna go into Shift A, add in the camera, and then Control Alt Zero, and I'm gonna scale this cube, Shift Z, so without the Z being scaled, I'm gonna scale it on, down on the Y a little bit, so just make some shape like this, and then I'm gonna go into the modifier tab, I'm gonna add in a subdivision surface, so let's go into the subdivision surface, make it um, level four, and in the um, render also, and then I'm gonna scale it up shift z so without the z axis and bring it up to here okay now we have this shape and we can bring it back our metaball and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in another uh, modifier to it a displace modifier press new go into this little tab it's gonna take you into the textures tab and change the type to cloud and then increase the size to something like 0.8 and then press ctrl a and apply this scale so we have some weird thing like this here okay what you guys will want to do now is um hide both the cube and the metaball and shift it at another little thing called curve and circle and scale it down a little bit to a size like this we want it really small because on this thing we will have our empty so we're gonna add in an empty and this empty is gonna be moving around and displacing our um texture so you'll see what i'm talking about so go into the object constraint properties in our empty add in a constraint of follow path and then use our target of bezier circle and then give ourselves 120 frames and on the first frame press uh keyframe and on frame 121 go to the offset of 100 and press the keyframe so now we're gonna have this motion okay uh and now if we bring up back our cube and our metaball nothing is happening so we go into our uh, cube and we go into its uh displacement and change it the coordinates from local to object and choose the object as our empty and now suddenly we have lots of lots of movement but it's very subtle so what are we what are we going to do now is go into its uh particle settings add a particle system make it hair Change the number to something like 200, maybe increase it later, but we'll see. Emit from volume, uh, not faces, from the volume, and distribution to random, and then render as an object, unclick show emitter, and add instance object um, metaball. So we have weird things going on, and uh, yeah, but we just press use modifier stack, and now we have something like this so they're all around the place so i hid my cube for now and what i'm gonna do is increase this metaballs to something that makes decent sense so not too large we just want them to cover the surface that we are working on so something like this and maybe give ourselves 300 of these metaballs and just increase the scale randomness a little bit something like this I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase the size to 0.4 point oh 0 0.14 0 0.14 and now i'm gonna shift it add in a plane and bring it down grab it on the z scale it by 10 and yeah so now we have this cool motion and now let's just start lighting it and you will see this part of life so shift it add in a Area lamp, grab it on the Z, 
let's go into just rendered mode for now oh yeah scale it up by like uh quite a bit change its power to like 1200 that's powerful enough change the shadow forms to contact shadows and make the shape of it a disc and then just duplicate another one rotate it upwards like this from the bottom and then shift the duplicate another one grab it here and rotate it so just rotate these around and like point them so that they're pointing from below and yeah so something like this looks fine so if we change our um world settings to black we have this so let's go into the shading tab and now this is gonna come to life so uh, our plane we're gonna give it a new material just increase the, uh, the specular oh the specular and no roughness and then make it completely black so something like this looks perfect okay let's add it, our metaballs a new material so give our metaballs a new material so we're just gonna go and make it completely white no roughness and completely specular and let's add in a color ramp color ramp so we press shift a added the color ramp we're gonna add in a wave text wave texture plug the color into a factor change the uh the x to a z so we have our rings like in this direction and i'm gonna decrease the detail i'm gonna shift a add in a gradient texture plug the color into a vector so now we're gonna have this kind of gradient happening so then I'm going to press Ctrl T. If you have no Wrangler enabled, it's going to work. Otherwise, go into Edit, Preferences, and type in, in the add-ons, no Wrangler. And you're going to see it. And click it, and it's going to work. So change the texture coordinate to, from object to object. So put that into the vector. And change the rotation on our mapping node on the Y to 90. So we want this kind of orientation going on. So, final thing before we start adding colors is add in the mix RGB, plug that into here, and add in a noise texture. Noise texture, plug the color into the bottom socket, and turn down the detail, turn down the scale of it a little bit, so we don't want that much distortion, and then just control the factor a little bit. And yeah that looks about right so i'm just gonna do something like this and bring our factor more to the left something among these lines is looking pretty good so let's um add our colors i'm just gonna decrease the scale down a bit something like this yeah this looks great so let's add our colors so we're gonna have a nice strong white and we're gonna keep our black and in between, we're going to add in a teal blue. So really bright teal blue. Bring it up here. Add in another node. Make it like a nice blue. Make it a little brighter. And just adjust this. Move this around and see what kind of colors you want to be seeing more of. So I'm going to bring up the black a little bit more. And move these out. And we're going to be getting something like this. So now if we go into rendered mode. We're gonna have this really cool movement of animation and it looks great. So basically now all that's left is uh, add in ambient occlusion and screen space reflections and into our color management, I'm gonna go and add very high contrast. So into the exporting tab now, press FFmpeg, encoding to MP4, add the quality to perceptual losses and just choose your file directory just by typing or clicking here and choosing where you wanna keep it. And that's basically it. So go into render and render animation and just click control F12 and you'll get something like this. So yeah, something like this will, is what you're going to get. Um, play around with the node network a little bit and you're going to get something similar. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I hope you I see you guys in the next one. Um, please consider subscribing, liking. It's really great if you guys will see more of my videos. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.